Hey, this is Tequila. Thank you for joining in to the Southern Twang YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a promotion in your eBay store so that you can draw in new customers, hopefully to retain those customers and make them loyal customers, returning customers. This is the offer that I have going on right now. It's, um, if you spend $20 or more, you get an extra 10% off of that, and it's the subtotal. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So let me just backtrack. And I am here on my seller hub. I've gone to marketing. I've gone down to promotions. So we're going to come over here. Click on create a promotion and we're going to do a codeless coupon. The way that this codeless coupon works is it will give you a, a link. And what the customer then has to do is to type that link here into their address bar and it will pull up the offer that is exclusive to them. Only the people who have that link are able to see the special offer. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this, which is minimum order. Um, say, for instance, if you want them to spend a certain amount in order to be able to use the coupon, this is the way to do it. Now, if you want them to be able to buy a certain quantity in order to use the coupon, then this will be the way, such as buy at least three items and get whatever you want to give them off as a discount. So we're going to come back up here. We're going to select a minimum purchase amount, which will be the subtotal. I'm going to say $20. And you can either do a dollar amount off if you do the purchase discount or you can choose a percentage off if you choose this one so what I would like to do is to have 10% off of a subtotal of $20 or more and this is how the text will look right here extra 10% off when you spend $20 plus exclusive offer alright so we're just gonna go down here to choose the qualifying items for our targeted offer. Um, I do not want my whole inventory to be included in this offer. So what I would do is create an exclusion rule. So I click on that and my store has categories. So I'm going to click this and the category that I do not want included is the clearance bin. Oh, that's the wrong category. One moment. I'm looking for store category. So different people have their their stores set up different ways on eBay. I have categorized my store into categories that are even more broken down than the general categories that that you choose when you list your items. So that makes it more specific to what I sell and easier for my customers to find what they need. So I do not want my clearance bin included in the offer. So I have highlighted that and I'm gonna click select this category. Okay, so now that will be excluded from the offer. Now, if I wanted to be even more specific and say exclude this, but include this, meaning that I still don't want the whole inventory included, I could still go in here to create an inclusion rule in conjunction to my exclusion rule. And I could say, for instance, go in and say that I want to include um, only clothing, shoes, and accessories, etc. But let's get out of that. Let's see. I think it took away my other one. So I'm saying my store category and excluding my clearance bin. So let's do that again. And I'm going to click this to add the exclusion rule and it has saved it. Okay, you can also do this by in, by SKUs if you use SKUs or by item IDs if you wanna be that specific. It's up to you. For me, categories is the easiest way to go. Okay, so here it says describe the items that are eligible for the targeted offer. Okay, so they just want you to enter a brief description of what is going to be on sale. And what I have done, put in 
what the terms are. So I am going to say all inventory except items in the clearance bin. And this is how it will look. Extra 10% off when you spend $20 plus exclusive offer. All inventory except items in the clearance bin. If you come down here, it gives you the option to um, set a date or you can start it immediately. And here we have to enter the offer title. Uh, for example, summer sale. And I may want to call mine returning customers or loyal customers or whatever you want. And at this time you would submit it. All right, so it's saying that I'm missing information from a fill. Let's see. Okay, so I forgot to create my inclusion rule. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to say my whole store. I'm going to add that. So they're doing the whole store, excluding the clearance bin. So submit again. And it's still giving us an error. What is the error about this time? The end date. OK, so we're going to select the end date. I'm just going to go with whatever they have here for the purpose of this video. And hit apply. And let's see if it takes it this time. It did. OK, so if we go down here, we can see that it shows up. It's called returning customers. There's a codeless coupon. It shows that it's active from the date now until the 12th. And it'll show you as people purchase the items that are discounted, what they're purchasing. Now, let me show you what it looks like when you need to give that code out, the link. So you just go down here to view and it shows your offer. But here's the link that you need. This is the long link, so I would prefer and would suggest going with a short link. So you can simply just double click, or if you have a Mac, you can two finger touch and copy the link. And then you could paste that wherever you wanted people to be able to access the link for your offer. You can click on it and it'll show you what it looks like. So here's my store, and it shows at the top what the offer is. And here's my exclusion. So we're all set and good to go. So if you have any questions on how to create a coatless coupon in your eBay store, just drop me a line in the comment box. Don't forget to like the video and to subscribe. Thank you.